Gia, are you ready? Yes. You have two choices. One, the blue pill. Two, the red. Which do you choose? I'll take the blue one. Ooh. All right, girl. Here we go. Oh, rectal insertion only. Here we go. Hi, I'm Kendra Onnit. And I'm Gia Ferrari, and you're watching the Boulay Brothers Dragula Titans, Episode 3, Boogie! Welcome back, Miss Kendra Onyx. She is back from her U.S. tour. So we're back. U.S. tour done. Mmm, Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles. She is back. Plane, She's no here. sleep. Another plane, no sleep. Girl. Club, next no, club. You slept. Viewing party, next viewing party, next viewing party. Sleep. You slept for like 48 hours, like nonstop. I had to. You, I mean, good for you, but I was here. I held the fort. I had to. You, had, you, held, it, you held it down. I did. You held it down. And now you're back. You held it down. Episode three. Period. Boulay Brothers Dragula Titans. Sci-fi okay. horror tonight. So, Eva wins the witch challenge, and sadly, Yosuka goes home. Yosuka. Insert toilet flush. <laughs> So everyone's in the boudoir wondering who went back to oblivion, who's coming back. And then little Miss Kendra Onyx walks back in. I walk in wearing Yoska's hat. The boulets asked me to take out the trash, so I thought I would bring it in and then throw it away. Mm, girl, and I, I thought it was cute that you brought came back with the hat. You were like, you know what? Her hat was cute. She gone. Her hat was cute. Shit. And that was cute, but you back. I'm That's back. Good. Full of effect. I'm back. She's ready to slay. So I walk back into the boudoir and everybody welcomes me in with open arms and open coochies. So it's it's a good feeling because one, Melissa's happy as shit. I love Melissa. Coco's happy as shit. My alliance is still intact. And two, it's like I never got this season two. So it feels great. Yeah, and then, so right after you walk in, you know, we got a little kiki in and then we go right into this new fright feet. So let me guys go into the Gravitron Vomitorium little thingy, which basically to me was a high school locker that you were shoved into that was spinning around and allegedly it was for three minutes. Was it actually three minutes? Um, I mean, I didn't have a clock, but I will say it felt like an eternity. Oh my gosh. Did you throw up? Because you I did. Like you're about to. I was one of the few girls that actually threw up and I wish they would have got it because they opened the door. I fell all dramatically. Oh you know gosh. me. But like, it was real. Like I fell and like, just, it happened. It is what it is. That, I thought I didn't have fears, but I guess I do not like being spun around and around and around and around. I probably threw up too. I'm not Pete Burns. Oh. Did you get that one? I did because. Oh! In my head right, baby, right, ring. Okay, so Gia got a reference. Cheers to that, motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So after the vomitrom or vomitorium or spin around, round, round, we go back to the boudoir. Mm -hmm. And they start, of course, the triangle comes up again. Mm -hmm. And I just pull Melissa to the side. I'm like, girl, I don't want to talk about this one more. Let's go to the cauldron. Let's have a shot. Let's kiki. Let's cool, cool. So after you guys go to the cauldron, you take your shot. Absolutely. As a bad bitch do. Absolutely. And then Coco walks in and yes. the trifecta, the oh. alliance comes in. And you guys are, you know, talking to Keen. We and can. Melissa actually reveals that basically right before filming, her husband leaves her. Absolutely. And that honestly, like, broke my little black heart. I was like, it, it was, it was... It hit a little close to home, but it was emotional. How was that, that being there? When I tell you, okay, so you know me and Melissa, we're close. Mm -hmm. So she had mentioned it in like passing, we were on eyes on what's supposed to be talking, but she had mentioned it, but to hear the totality of the story, it was, it was heart wrenching. Yeah. Like what you guys saw obviously was a snippet of the conversation, but you know me, I'm a crier. So just to see Melissa crying, it was it was gut wrenching. Yeah. Like even rewatching it, I felt it in my gut. I've never I've known Melissa since I've started drag, 
and I've been doing drag for 10 plus years. And to see Melissa break down like that, it was, that was another level. It was definitely a very emotional moment. And just even me watching it, it was very heavy. Um, but, you know, you were there for her. And Absolutely. And Coco was there for her. And, you know, hopefully it's been... The mean girls, as everybody wants to call yeah. us. We were there. We yeah. were there for her. Yeah. And I, 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 wanted to, I wanted Melissa to know for me and Coco that we're there no matter what happens. No matter the outcome, we're there. But I also wanted her to know that, sis, we're still in the competition. So you can let your walls down for us. Keep them up for them. So the challenge for this week is sci-fi horror. And I feel, just little old me, little old Kendra, I feel like this was inspired by season two. Which is the best season? I mean, it definitely was. The season two alien sci-fi challenge, I feel like this was definitely like an homage. An homage. And so basically you had to come, sci-fi, alien, horror. All right, here we go. Let's get right into the floor show. It's an amalgamation of the two. Amalgamation, that's a big ass word. Thank you. Oh. So first up we have Miss Astrid Aurelia. What did you think of her look? When I tell you that this and silhouette was already striking, like they didn't even need to put the light on. However they did, and she started moving. I thought it was it was a really good look. Um, with all like the eyes on the, like this, just, it, was, um, it was very striking. I liked it a lot. Um, I don't know if she was referencing anything specific, but I just liked it because it looked to me, I, you know, I don't know any references. Ever. List me a hundred movies. I Ever. I've watched one. But if. it was, <laughs> yeah, girl. It was, it was just, it was really good. It looked like an alien with all these eyeballs. And I mean, Astrid has been delivering all season so far. Yes. And she the, delivered. This look was great. It was, it was good from head to toe. Like, she had a story to tell. She had the little laser beams on her knuckles. It was great. I loved it. I give this look. Two thumbs. Oh, 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 oh. Me too, two thumbs up. So next up for probing is Miss Coco Kane. And what did you think about her look? I loved her look. She was a like futuristic robot hooker with a giant freaking like giant laser blaster. beam. Girl, a blaster oh. laser beam attached to her arm. She looked uh, girl. She looked definitely from the last two weeks she upped. She was like, you know what? Let me show y'all the real And it's not white. Girl, it's not white, it's silver. Which is like white with Which is not white. Silver is <laughs> a different color. No, she looked really good. Her her breast assists, her boardy, that blaster. I, oh my god, the mirror on the blaster when she was Everything! Like, when they had the shot of her eye on that fucking mirror, it that sold me. Girl, yeah. She was like about to shoot your ass, but she was like, let me make sure my mug looks good. Period. You gotta look and good when you're killing somebody. It did and clack clack clack. Oh, stamped. Girl. She's stamped. I she, give this look definitely two thumbs way up. Way two thumbs up. This was so good. Iconic. Never before seen. Beautiful. So next up, we have Miss Erica Clash referencing Ghidorah from the Godzilla movies. Godzilla. What did you think of Miss Erica Clash? I will say that this is probably the best Erica Clash has ever looked. Yeah, she looked really good. When she came out, I almost didn't recognize her until her name card came up. Mm -hmm. um, I love Godzilla. I actually have watched. Well, I've, okay. oh. hold, on. Oh. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. I've watched Godzilla in 1998 and then the reboot trilogy. That's it, I haven't watched the old Godzillas. But she watched something, but so y'all know. Something. I watched something. She got a movie reference. Girl. I'm just gonna get filled up. Girl, you know what? I'm being fancy. Oh, yeah, fuck that shit. Uh, oh, oh, it's spilling. Just a little bit. <laughs> but she looked amazing. Her prosthetics were so clean. Yeah. You couldn't even tell this was Erica Clash. It, you really couldn't. But I will say that I only liked it from like maybe here up. Tit up. Yeah. Because I feel like the bottom part was just, I mean, it was just a bodysuit. And as the Boulez mentioned, like the crotch didn't fit well. It was. It was just a bodysuit with some shoes. But I like the, the you know, the three heads and the prosthetic, the hair, everything looked great from here up. So from here up, I give it two thumbs up. 
but if I'm incorporating the whole body, I'll give it one thumb up. You can also see the black straps of the wings, but what I will say is that Erica told me she made this. Oh. Like, literally from neck down, I believe. And these are like wall mounts. So she upcycled these wall mounts to make her dream come true. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So for that, I'm gonna give this one and a half. Ooh, am I Gia this? Am I Gia now? No, I'm just doing one. Am I Gia? You're Gia now. I'm just doing one thumb up though, because from the here down, mm, could have been any look. She should have just, you know, whatever. One thumb. So next we have Abora. And they went with the whole biblical reference. How do you feel they did? Subpar. Yeah, I mean, um, I, <laughs> girl, <laughs> I just popped my nail off. It's such a good one. Subpar. Oh. No, so, um, I don't know. Abora's look was fine. Uh, to me, personally, for me, for you. It didn't Gia Ferrari. really read super science fiction-y. And you know, the bullets have mentioned this to Abora before, and Abora just has like like these grandiose. Very, yeah, these big ideas. But it's like sometimes you just gotta be like just to the point. And the look was good. Um mm -hmm. the look was good. I really like this look. I thought it was very fashion. She looked so tall and lean. After she took that head thing off, I liked it even more. Like when she bit the dove head off, that brought me the horror aspect of this look. However, I don't think she fulfilled the brief of sci-fi. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, it didn't read really sci-fi to me. I did like that she bit that, like it looked like cheesy it, it, to me. It looked like Little Caesars cheesy bread that she put into a like fake bird. She chewed it off. The cheese was oozing. It looked delicious. I got hungry. Well, it wasn't cheesy bread. Well, whatever it was. It looked good. If it was, I would have ate some. I didn't even know they had that dove anywhere. I kid you not. But, I mean, the performance was good. The look was well made. It just didn't fulfill the brief for me. And for me also. Uh, I'm gonna give this look um, mm, a half thumb. Just a half I'm thumb. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna give her one. I'm gonna give her a half. It could go up and go down, but it's just. I'm gonna give them one. So next up we have Miss Kendra Onyx herself. You. So explain your look a little bit. Let's let's see your your thought process behind. So this look. I was going for rich bitch dripping in jewels and diamonds from another planet where they eat human beings. And so Jack in the Box is literally Jack's toes in a box that we're eating on. You feel me? Here we go. <laughs> I feel you. I Here actually really like this look. No, because I, I mean, I've known you for forever. Like literally like 50 years I've known Miss Kendra Onyx. And I know what your drag style is, and this was very, as I said in a couple of videos ago, quintessential Kendra Onyx. It was really good. I, I enjoyed it a lot. And that's the thing, is that you, and you said it before, you don't do... I'm not a Kendra Think Queen. Yeah, you have a very specific aesthetic, and I really enjoyed this look. Um, However. I feel, no, I feel this was a strong night for everybody. And then just against everybody else, you know, maybe it felt a little short. But on its own, girl, I would have tipped this six whole dollars and maybe 50 cents. I like the 650. 650. I, however, love this look. <laughs> I mean, I literally made the outfit. You made it. I did. Oh. Me Melissa taught me how to sew on set, and I made this outfit by myself. What I will say is this outfit right here came out of a sewing machine from my hand. And you know what? I know that, you know, you ain't no seamstress. I'm I not. No seamstress, so I'm proud of you. I'm not a seamstress. This came out of my hand. And what I will tell you is this character, this whole bitch putting little granddaughter came in my head while the lights were down while I was on stage. Oh, exactly. So this was not, this was, this was no script. 
This was not planned. So you were making that up as you were Absolutely. fucking into that into that Joy-Con. Absolutely. You were like, grandmother bitch. I don't know what the fuck you were saying, but it was it a was, cell phone. Okay. There was a cell phone on my planet. It was Joy-Con. Her name was Nebula Putin. I mean, at the end of the day, bitch Putin's the grandmama. The grandma were working at the diner. And you know what's funny is that actually when I did see this, it, it did, it was very, it was not very, it was a little reminiscent of Bitch Puddin's, um, like, diner thing. And I felt, little old me, little old Kendra, mm -hmm. this was a departure from what I normally do. I don't do camp. I don't do funny. But I, this, huh. I will, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I will say that this is the most fun I had on stage. And you look, I mean, you look great. The one thing I will say is that I didn't know you were purple until you were in the cauldron. Yes. I think it was maybe the lighting or something, but. Oh, it's head to toe purple, bitch. And it was smooth. But I think, I mean, I think smooth. you look great. I mean, I think. I give this look two thumbs up. Where's the camera? Two thumbs up. And so do you. So next we have Miss Hoso Teratoma. So how do you feel about their look? Um, I think Hoso's look was good. Uh huh. It was sci-fi. Uh huh. It was Hoso. Uh huh. However, um, for me, for me, for you, um, it felt a lot of the Hoso same. I saw like the skirt reminded me of her like scene could look from season four. I've seen the multiple faces thing before. And I don't know, it just, it, it was a good look, but it felt familiar. Okay. So it didn't feel like, I wasn't like shooketh about it. Like, oh my God, yes, come on, Miss Hoso. I was just like, come on, Miss Hoso, yes. Okay. I like this look. It definitely gave me um, a video game vibe. Chainsaw Lollipop, some bullshit. I think that's what it's called, Chainsaw Lollipop. I don't know. But it gave me very that much vibes. It was a schoolgirl that, oh my God, zombies or whatever is infecting her yeah. is attacking the school. She's trying to defend herself, go home so she can see her parents. That's what it gave me. I thought it was cute. It was very ho-so. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, who's that? You knew it was ho-so. You knew it was sci-fi. Yeah, I feel. I don't know. I feel like, yes, like you said, you knew it was ho-so. But like you knew it was Hoso, like it wasn't anything for Hoso. It wasn't anything groundbreaking. It felt familiar, like I said. Um, it's still a very good look. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. Where's the camera? Uh -oh. I'm gonna do. Um, She's all one and seven quarters. I'm gonna do two thumbs. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe just. Uh, 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 uh. She giving it two, two thumbs up. <clears throat> right. So next up we have Miss Eva Destruction. And what did you think of Miss Eva's uh, cyborg uh, like Cinderella? It was like a, a cyborg Stafford wife smart house look. For me, do you know what Smart House is? Mm -mm. Of course you don't. Um, it's like a Disney movie and then the house is all smart, clearly. And then it like materializes into a person. And I feel like that was this. I love the light in her mouth. Oh, I, I loved her thing. body movements. What I would have changed for me, little old Kendra, little old Kenneth Hampton, I would have made, because she had that clear face piece, mm -hmm. I would have did all of her armor clear. Okay. I think that would have been so much cooler. Yeah, I agree. I loved the light in her mouth. Um, I thought the concept was cool. She was like, uh, she, she seems to love cleaning products, as I mentioned. Oh, she loves them. Girl. I hope the next episode she has a Roomba. Oh my God, that'd be so funny. Um, yeah, no, she looked, she looked great. Um, it wasn't anything exceptional for me. Um, I know what Eva can do. Like, we've seen her her drag before. Um, this look was just, it was fine to me. It, it was like a robotic maid. I loved her movements. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I love her, her performance more than her look itself. But her look was still strong. But her performance was better. Okay. Work. I'm going to give this um, one and a half thumbs.
That's one for me. All right. Hoop, 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 yeah. Oh, so next we have Miss Melissa B. Fierce, which is one third of the alliance of legs and hips and body, arri, arri. And what do you think about her look? I thought this look was really good. She was um, the predator, predator of a movie series that I have not watched. At all? Not at all. Nothing. Not one of them. Not a single one. But I, I know I know the Predator. I've seen, you know, I've seen it. I, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen what the Predator is. Anyway. What? You haven't seen none of the Predator? Not a single uh, one. No reboot. What about Alien versus Predator? No, nothing. Nothing alien adjacent? I've seen Prometheus. Okay, I'll give... I've seen Prometheus. She's seen Prometheus. Hmm. I thought Melissa's look was really good. She had a full, like, heavily stoned bodysuit. Heavily. Heavily. And I immediately, even though I have not seen the movie, I immediately under, like knew this was Predator. I loved that on her prosthetic, she had like little eyeballs on her cheeks and those eyeballs had lashes Period. on them. Girl, that I was gagging. And I saw that in the in the promo, like preview, whatever you want to call it, the trailer. And I was like, I, I didn't know it was going to be Melissa. But this was really good. Um, the only thing is she had no makeup on her neck. And I could see it. I will say this look was stone, literally from head to toe. Girl, the house down boots. Her weapons were stoned. Her face was stoned. Her body was stoned. Like everything she took off was stone. This look is amazing. This is Melissa quintessential. Melissa, this is exactly what the Boulets wanted to see. 100% Melissa, I loved it. It was, yeah. This is, she had the slime. You know I love me some slime. You know I love some slime. This is, this is two. This is two. Two thumbs up for me two. also as well. Two. Really good. It's amazing. I love it. Two. So last up, we have Miss Victoria Black. Elizabeth. Girl. Elizabeth. What did you think of Miss Victoria Elizabeth Black? When I tell you, I feel like this walked right off of a movie set. Girl, Universal Studios when Mr. Boris. This thing. this was great. I, I believe she has done some stuff for Universal Studios in Florida. But this was great. It was slimy. It was like the thing. It was Victoria. That hair. Victoria always has great wigs. I believe this is. She didn't tell me this. But I feel like it is in my soul, in my spirit, in my psyche. I feel like this is the same wig that she wore in Resurrection, which I loved. Mm -hmm. And I loved it here too. This is great. This is great. This is the brief sci fi horror. Girl, let, let me tell you a little something. This, look, when I saw the silhouette and I saw that extra arm coming out, and then she turned, I was literally like breathless. Oh. I couldn't breathe. Was I literally. Mahoney? Yeah, I lost my my breath. I was like, <laughs> it was good. I was gagged. This reminded me. I know I don't get a lot of movie references, but video game references. This reminded me of Resident Evil Two, William Birkin, uh, Stage Two. Um, you know, he she just needed like the big old eyeball on the shoulder. But this look, the way she was moving and everything about it was just sickening. <laughs> And it, she, was, it was sickening. She popped she put a She put a T on the end of sickening. Sickening. That's new for me. Girl. Sickening. Sickening. And she popped on that lash. Sickening. We gonna put it right here. Sickening. Girl, this look was so good. I literally, I, I literally, literally, literally could she not gasped. breathe. I gasped. I was she like, gasped. so good. I'm gonna give this two thumbs and my two toes down below. Way up. All the way up. That only means two thumbs. I just want to make it this is, yeah, this is great, this is great, this is great. What I will say about this look is that Victoria was uncomfortable in it. Which means, if you're doing drag, and it's comfortable, you're probably not doing the rain. Huh. I literally, um, I hand fed Victoria that day. Yeah. I, I, I did. That's my sister, we're best friends, I love her. Victoria, you got my word now. So, let's go to judgment. So, safe was Erica and Melissa. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I, I do. 
It was a it was a very strong night for everybody, and so it, it really I feel like it could have really gone anywhere. I feel like Melissa edged out a couple people that were on the top. Okay, the oh. tops were Miss Hosel Teratoma, Victoria Black, Astrid Aurelia, and Coco Kane. Yes. And the winners, winners with the winners. S, were Hosel Teratoma and Victoria. <laughs> Do you agree with the double win? Because I don't. I do. I do agree with the double win. I don't agree. I feel like... Oh, she's going to hate me for saying this. I feel like Astrid was safe. Okay. And I feel like Melissa kind of edged her out. Okay. I, I can see that. For top looks. I can see that. I do. Melissa gave me what I needed, what the Boulets asked, what y'all wanted, what you needed, didn't know you needed it. But you got it. What I'm going to say is... Well, um, look. This is going to be the first one this season. Oh, the Shablam. It was. It was. I'm it, sorry. It was really good. But the double win was for Hoso and Victoria. I do not think... I don't agree that... And I love you, Hoso. You know I love you, girl. I was surprised when they announced Hoso as the winner. I was, really? I was. I thought it should have been... I thought it was going to be Victoria, hands down. Like landslide but when they announced Hoso as the winner first I was just like work like I don't know it just it felt I mean it was very Hoso it was but it to me as I said it just felt familiar and so it was just like okay work okay. I think Hoso could have just stayed high and Victoria Black was a definitely deserved win and the bottom twos are Abora and oh Kendra on it Mm-hmm. Did you agree? No. Clearly. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. Who do you think should have been the bottom? You know, you win some, you lose some. Who do you think should have been the bottom? You win some, you lose some. You were great. Never before seen. You should have been the winner of this fucking <laughs> challenge. Okay, you should have been the winner. No, I think I feel. I need you to read the script correct. I, uh, girl, let me. Kendra Onyx should have won this challenge. Um, she did really? great. Um, her mall couture was never before seen. <gasps> Stupid <laughs> bitch. No, I okay. You know, I do agree with the bottom two. I do. Look, I just think it, it is what it is. I think it was a strong night. That your look wasn't bad. It was, I was just, out. It just what you were just overshadowed. I twas. You twas. I twas. And so Abora and Kendra Onyx were in the bottom. They were. There are bottoms. And uh, so we go back to the cauldron and we're just discussing like, what's tea? We're discussing, and Abora once again gets this defeatist attitude. And instead of her defending herself, she starts to lash out at everyone else. Yeah, and I, I noticed she does that. Which is that. a tactic yeah. that she has. At this time, I just feel like, what else can I do? You know what I mean? That's literally how I felt. But I still had a fire under my arse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big to arse. To my big arse. Real. Paid for. I got the receipt in my car. And... I wanted to stay. Mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like Abora was kind of just like, uh, you know, she was just like, y'all better hope that I fall through that door. And she just, she felt kind of like over it. But I, I felt like she kind of felt over it. She kind of felt over everyone. Mm -hmm. She kind of felt over the situation. But ultimately. Ultimately, we go back on stage and we ascend. The stairway to heaven, or what is the stairs? The stairway of souls. Stairway of souls. I am standing there like this, like Wednesday Adams. <sighs> and then the bullet say, Kendra! Oh, and you fall into oblivion. Miss Kendra Onyx, my sis, my good Judy. <laughs> she's, just fall she's still falling. To this. Some say she's still falling to this day. She's still going. And she lands on something. But we don't know. She lands on something. I mean, you know, third episode queen. Third episode queen. At least queen. I'm consistent. You're consistent. At least I'm mama. consistent. Um, 
It is what it is. It, it is, is what it is. It That's is the episode. I, you know, okay. I'm just gonna say this. You know I fucking love you. You're a. Here we go. No, 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 no. Okay, that sounded like I was gonna say something bad. You know I fucking love you. You're a sickening queen. I've known you for ten years almost. Ten plus. Ten, ten, ten plus. Um, ten minus. Okay. Mama, no. how long have you been doing drag? 2011. Which is the year before me. Okay, so I've known you. What year are we in? That. What year is it? 22. It was brand new. That's a Jumanji. 22. Reference. Anyway, point of my story is I love you. You're sickening. You're sickening. And I enjoyed your looks. I know a lot of people may have not understood your looks. They may have, and eh, they're basic. But I'm like, this is what Kendra does. Kendra is basic. I'm just kidding. My looks are made to be serviceable. Yeah, and you've mentioned this before on season two that your looks, like, you need to be able to perform in them because you're a performer. I'm a performer, book six nights a week. Huh. Not only at Halloween. Miss Mama. No, I, you know, <laughs> unfortunately you're gone into the abyss. You're still falling I'm on to this day. Your favorite can never. But, you know, I fucking love you. I'm proud of everything you've done. Season two, resurrection, and now. We love you. You're great TV. Thank you. But you gone now, and sorry about it, girl. You gone into oblivion. I'm and dead. The pictures like this. At the end of the day, there's one crown. You know what I mean? And hopefully, one of my girls get it. Hopefully. Hopefully. So two thirds of legs, hips, and body is still there. Now let me ask you a little something. Would you have done anything different watching the season back now? Uh, Asking the heavy questions, just kidding, just, yeah. I mean, obviously, yes, I would have done different things. Okay. However, I don't want to make excuses because people always say I make excuses in the book views. So, it is what it is. Winning is into losing. If all of us, if everybody in this cast won their season, we wouldn't be here right now we reviewing be this, here correct? Reviewing this. So it is what it is. You win some, you lose some, and in my case, you lose some, you lose some, and you lose one one more time, and then you lose some. <laughs> and I forgot this. You know, you know, I'm gonna give you a big hug. Then you lose just, some. Just give me a hug. Oh, hands touch. Oh, that's the closest I've gotten to her lips. Woo. Oh. <laughs> So that was the episode, guys. Do you agree with the outcome? Y'all better not. Y'all better say Kendra should have stayed. She better. She, I want to see every single comment say Kendra should have motherfucking stayed. Okay? Period, bitch. And I had my space Birkin that matched my motherfucking cut crease. Don't come for me. But let us know everything that you guys think in the comments below about the top, the bottom, the safes, whatever, the drama, the tea. The she might not drama. read them all. No, I read every I single do. one. I read every single motherfucker. Everyone. Comment. I mean, I respond to any of them, but I read them. Oh, I do. You guys know I'm oh. very responsive. Very, girl. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to us, House of Gorgeous, on motherfucking YouTube. Make sure you guys follow us on all of our social medias, which will be down in the description below. And we will see you guys next week for episode Nostalgia. four. Oh my God, yes, that's like this. I'm the little bell. You know what? We'll see you guys next week for episode four. We love you guys. Episode Thank four, you. I ain't there. Yeah. So Shake let's see it so I can be real this time. Shake your head. No, I'm just playing. Oh, grrr.